Heads up, here's why your biceps aren't growing. Most people only ever hit the short head of their bicep, which means there's crazy untapped potential if you start doing cross body for the long head or neutral grip curls for the brachialis. Switch it up and you'll blow up. Here's a beginner's guide to bulking and putting on muscle, part two. So now that we've established you need calories, the next is using those calories in your workout. When you're lifting weights, often more than one muscle group is worked. For example, when you're doing a row, you're working your back and also your bicep. Train three to five times a week for around one hour. Choose a weight that you are comfortable with enough to push yourself without compromising your lifting technique. Muscle soreness is normal and will get better over time. Look at your physique and determine what you need to work on. Are your arms perhaps overpowering your chest? Train your chest twice a week and let it catch up. Bicep pro tip. Small adjustments make a big difference. If you curl cross body, you're hitting the long head. Curl outwards to hit the short head and use a neutral grip to hit your brachialis. Everybody know my name when I come through But don't nobody screaming like you I was having visions with you Doing things, switching lanes in the beaming with you And swimming in deep water Save me from I'm about to show you right now the key to growing your shoulders. Once you get to failure on lateral raises, instead of stopping or throwing your body around and risking injury, you want to do these partial reps with good form until complete failure. If you're not doing these, you're leaving gains on the table. Part five, doing celebrity workouts. Today we have Chris Bumstead's chest workout, so let's get into it. We're gonna start on the pec deck fly, three sets of 15 to 20, get that activation in the chest going. Then we're gonna move into the suicide lift, I mean the incline barbell bench, six sets of six to 10. From there we move on to incline dumbbell press for four sets of eight to 10. Heavy emphasis on the upper chest during this workout. And then we're gonna move into cable flies for four sets of 12 to 15. Pause the screen now to take a look at the entire workout and let me know how it goes. I be a fighter to the end to my last round. I got angels all around me, yeah, yeah. I got love all around me, yeah, yeah. I be a fighter to the end to my last breath. I'm a hustle to my last breath. I got if you want a set of milkers so big that Victoria's Secret hits you up to model their new collection of men's bras, you gotta watch this video. One main thing is making sure you train chest twice a week. I have one day where I isolate chest and train it by itself and another day where I train chest with another body part. Volume is critical. Now, when training chest, I usually like to start my chest days with an incline movement. One of my favorite movements is incline dumbbell press. When your upper chest looks big, the rest of your chest will appear bigger. I also incorporate a bunch of other incline movements throughout my workout, like incline cable flies. This is something that helped me develop striations in my upper chest. Time under tension is another huge thing to incorporate. Notice when I'm doing these reps, I hold the contraction and I go back very slow in the eccentric movement. This is gonna help you develop your chest a lot. Another big tip, stop neglecting the lower chest. The lower chest is huge in the overall chest aesthetic. Start incorporating weighted dips or machine dips. These will help a lot. And last but not least, flex after every set. It's gonna help with your mind-muscle connection. Know the difference. She flip flops, fuck it, hit your bitch in massage. This is a big white, just diamonds dripping off for the clock. Two to six out, when it's time, drop. Alright, you guys wanna build some aesthetic legs? Here's part three, let's go. Avoid doing this. The only three tricep exercises you need. Skull crushers for the long head which will be the biggest contributor to arm size. Next, overhand pushdowns for the lateral head to build that horseshoe shape. And lastly, underhand pushdowns for the medial head to build the stability and balance. Most aesthetic muscle groups and how to develop them. Part one, the rectus femoris. Let's get it. Deep squats on a heel plate with a duck stand. Really light hack squats where your knees get laid over your toes. Leg extensions where you drive your toes to the ceiling. Just remember, effort is everything. And you're standing on the edge, face up, cause you're a Somebody. Let me see the light within the dark
dark tree shadowing. What's if you want to puke on your next leg day, try out this goblet squat challenge. All you gotta do is get a dumbbell that's half your body weight in pounds. This is a 100 pound dumbbell, I weigh 200 pounds. Next, knock out 25 unbroken reps with no pause at the top. Do as many as you can, go till failure. I got 29, that's gonna destroy you. Know the difference. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. A fucking how I love it I know you like it more I love it I fuck you Boys, here's the advanced plan. It's what I'm using right now. A lot of hypertrophy. Let's get it. Uh, met this pretty thing. Nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Sweeter than a churro. She called me Papi Chu.